Steven, the Teen Services Coordinator at the Dennis Springs Walker Branch Library, and welcome back for another STEAM Saturdays with Steven. First, let's go over our rules. Rule number one, always get the permission or the supervision of an adult before attempting any of our videos at home. Rule number two, make sure you're wearing or at least know where your safety equipment is, like gloves and goggles. Rule number three, never put in your mouth or eat anything that we make unless specifically told to do so. And rule number four, make sure you follow our instructions precisely. Luckily for you today, we will be able to eat what we create today. So if you're following along at home, these are the items that you will need. You will need some lemon juice, some simple syrup. You will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups. Um, in order to, or small containers in order to mix things in, you will need um, some water, some measuring cups. I have a half a cup and a half a teaspoon, and then a container that you plan on drinking out of filled with ice. So, we'll come back to this in a bit. Okay, you will in fact be able to eat what we make today. Um, so, what do I have in store for you? We are going to play around with and learn about um a principle in math and i know what you're thinking stephen how do we eat math how is math fun we don't like math but just stick with me just a second so let's take a look at some of these images we have a nautilus shell we have a aloe succulent a hurricane and the milky way galaxy do you see anything similar in those images how about now? They all appear to have the same shape. It's like the universe's favorite doodle. And we see the shape over and over again in nature. This spiral is one of many logarithmic or many shapes called logarithmic spirals. Um, about this spiral in particular is derived from Fibonacci sequence. About 800 years ago, a man in Italy named Fibonacci, his real name was Leonardo Pisano, I don't know how he learned, I mean, he got the nickname Fibonacci, but that's how we know him. Um, he was studying the populations of rabbits, of all things, and while writing down his observations and doing his calculations, he discovered the sequence. And so a sequence is just a pattern of numbers. Most people will recognize like a pattern like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That is a pattern derived from counting by twos. This is Fibonacci sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. Can you see any pattern in that? Do you see any pattern in that, Ms. Rena? I do not. I didn't see it at first either. Um, Fibonacci sequence is a little bit harder to figure out than just counting by twos. It is um, derived from you add you add two numbers together to get the next number. So zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus three is eight. Eight plus five is thirteen. And so on for all of eternity. If we graph it on a graph, we start to see that spiral shape. Here is a one by one square, a one by one square, a two by two square, a three by three square, five by five, eight by eight, 13 by 13, 21 by 21. So if we follow the perimeter of those squares, we see that Fibonacci sequence spiral that we see so often in nature. So, know what you're thinking. How am I supposed to eat this? Well, let's go over here and I'll show you. We will Use Fibonacci sequence in a recipe to make a drink. So our 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 will be the measurement of simple syrup we use in our recipe. So first things first, you need six different containers. Two, four, six, seven. Seven different containers. Eight different containers. <laughs> I can't count. You will need this many containers. You'll need one filled with ice that you plan on drinking out of. In each one of my tiny mixing cups, I have put one fourth cup of water. So if you need to pause the video and go ahead and do that, I just did it to save us time. I also put food coloring. If you've seen our previous Science Saturday videos with Mr. John and Miss Brooke, they showed you how to mix and match primary colors and secondary colors to make tertiary colors. So that is what I've done. I followed those instructions to make these colors in my one fourth cup of water. So. Let's get on to our 
Fibonacci sequence science recipe. We are going to, in our first cup of one fourth of water, we are going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice. And I have a half a teaspoon. So I will put two of these in here to make one teaspoon. One. Two. So we'll Fibonacci sequence it with one teaspoon. Hopefully I'll spill it. Oh no, this one doesn't need it. One teaspoon lemon juice. One teaspoon lemon juice. That's a half, That's a, half a teaspoon, isn't it? You were right. There, one teaspoon. One teaspoon. We need two teaspoons in here, so four of these. One, two, three, four. We need three in here, so six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need five in here, so ten. Nine, ten. Now that we have our lemon juice everywhere, I will put the cap back on before I spill it. And now let's follow that Fibonacci sequence with the simple syrup. So I will skip this one and we will put one teaspoon of simple syrup in our red. One. We will put one teaspoon in our orange. We'll put two teaspoons in our yellow. One. Two. Three teaspoons in our green. Two. Oh, one. Two. Three. Five teaspoons. Five teaspoons in our blue. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and eight teaspoons in our purple. Eight. Okay, I'm going to stir all of these up. Let me grab a stirring device. Okay, you want to thoroughly mix these up. I got a whole bunch of different spoons because I didn't want my colors to mix. And rumor has it, if I followed my, the Fibonacci sequence correctly, if I measured accurately, I should be able to pour these into my ice and it'll make something fabulous. So let's pour slowly. When you're pouring, you wanna make sure you're pouring over the ice and kind of down the side of the cup so it doesn't splash or cause a lot of mixing to happen in the cup. Let's see what happens. I'm worried, I'm worried. just melted 
right away. It's almost gone. Green. They kind of did it. You can see our blue and our, our purple down here, and our green here, and then our yellows and oranges and reds up here. Science! <laughs> I'm pretty sure, perhaps at home, you should try and pour it in your glass the other direction, starting with your dark liquid that had the most amount of sugar and lemonade, uh, lemon juice in it. And then it would have had to do less mixing on its way down. In science, we have to learn from our mistakes. So you try this experiment at home and tell me if yours turned out great. Are you ready to um, mix up our rainbow Fibonacci lemonade and see what it tastes like. Oh, it made it green, you guys. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, oh, it's sweet. It tastes delicious. Mm. Oh, that's really good. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you try this at home. Let me know if yours turns out better than mine. Oh, it's very sweet. Make sure that's the only sugar you get that day. And I will see you next time for Steam Saturdays with Steven. Okay, so that was a big old fail. So I've remixed all my cups again. This time I'm going to pour my moist, my moist. This time I'm going to pour the most dense liquid in first instead of last. So hopefully we will have no mixing going on in the cup. Cross my fingers, it's gonna work this time. So we start with our purple that had five teaspoons of lemon and eight teaspoons of simple syrup. Pour that slowly down the side. And then we'll grab our blue that had three teaspoons of lemon and five teaspoons of simple syrup. Let's get a new piece of ice. We'll grab our green that had two teaspoons of lemon and three teaspoons of simple syrup. Our yellow that had one teaspoon of lemon and two teaspoons of syrup. Our orange that had one teaspoon of lemon and one teaspoon of syrup. And then our red that just had one teaspoon of syrup. And then our base that just was one teaspoon of lemon. Yes, that is what I wanted to see last time. We have made a delicious rainbow lemonade using Fibonacci sequence of one, one, two, three, five, eight, 13. Should we taste it? Miss Sally, do you want to taste it? <laughs> Let's see. If I start, it'll turn that ugly green that we had last time. I'm sure by drinking it, it's going to stir it. But let's taste it anyway. It tastes a lot better. It tastes a lot less sugary than the green, the green slush. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, there we go. We have science for the win this time. I'll see you again next time on Steam Saturdays.